Welcome back everyone to Gamers Box Office channel and this is part number 10 from Until Dawn walkthrough. For those of you who haven't seen the previous walkthroughs, I uh, encourage you to watch the previous ones so that way you know what's going on on this part. But if you just want to check this one out, still it's not going to be any spoilers here because everyone's playthrough is going to be different. That's the whole idea of this game. Alright, so let's continue. Now this is Samantha. This is the part where we uh, had stopped in the previous version. Oops. There he goes. Hello? Guys? What are you doing out there? Being creepy? <laughs> she still has no clue what's going on. She doesn't even have an idea that Josh was killed. I like how they use all the elements of the uh, horror movie uh, genres in the past, from the Friday the 13th, uh, all the ones that we have seen in the past. It's like pays an homage to all the, the ones we've seen in the past. I like that. Let's check the cell phone. Can I check the cell phone? Nope. Let's walk around a little bit here. Just want to explore this a bit. Yeah, the graphics are, man, in this game. Pretty cool. Look at the water on the bathtub. Look at the water, man. If this is what PlayStation 4 has to offer, I'm impressed, man. I'm really impressed so far. If every game can look this way, pff, we're in luck. All right, let's check this out. What this is here? No, no, no! Don't open the door. I want to check this other thing. Pete's sakes, my clothes! Really? Whichever one of you did this is off my Christmas list. Seriously, not cool, guys. Not. Cool. <laughs> she still has no idea. Her socks. Where do they put a soap in there? <laughs> That's hilarious. Alright, let's open the door. Careful now. Don't drop the towel. Chris? Chris? Josh? See, she has no idea that all of them are gone and that Josh is dead and all of these things has happened, so she has no clue that she's alone in this. Uh, Lodge. What the hell? Now she's starting to realize something's going on. I mean, seriously, guys, I cannot express enough as I did in my previous videos. The, the graphics in this game are just perfect, I would say. Polygons and Everything. Attention to detail. Look at this lightning, man. I mean, come on. Look at the shadows. Everything. Oh, shit. Stupid fuck. <laughs> yeah, careful with the towel. Don't drop it. Um, that would be actually cool if you did. But I might have to edit to YouTube, you know. Okay, let's check the watch. <laughs> Nothing there. Oh, no, there's another cool thing that you can do. Like, if, if you stand for a little while, you can check the, uh, the characters, see how they're feeling, you know, what their status is, if they're afraid or they're confused or whatever their state of mind is. 
psychologically, like right here. Anywhere you stop, even if I stop here, psychologically, you can examine her. Mike, Emily, you... this is really getting out of hand, okay? It was all very funny, haha. -ha. Look at Sam walking around in a towel, but now I just really want this to be over, all right? You had enough? <laughs> See, there's many different options when you replay this game that you can do. Even if I stop here, for example, she's going to do the same thing. Can I have my clothes back now, or am I supposed to hang out in a towel for the rest of the weekend? Towel it is, then. And this is all me controlling her, like, right now. This is not animated, like, or... or FMV or something like that. No, this is all me in-game controlling. And every time you stop somewhere, like even here if I stop, she's gonna start talking. Just give us some time. I think she's afraid now. She realized something's going on. Okay. Let's continue over here. Let's stop here, look at the window. Remember, you can do it with each character. You can stop and, and stand and, and just see what their psychological state of mind is. Oh, man, that really scared me, that balloon. I didn't see that coming. Okay, let's go down. Now let's stop here for a moment. Let's look around. I mean, I don't know why some people rush through this game. There's so many things you can do. Obviously, I'm doing a walkthrough, so. But uh, in general, you shouldn't rush through this game. You should just take your sweet time and you hear the music, something's going on. I can feel the vibration from the subwoofer. I mean, some, something's going to happen. We're trying to freak me out. Guess what? You succeeded. You see, she's very scared now. She's trembling her lips. But you can also double check it by pressing the options. And you'll see, hold on. No, it's it's right here. Where was it? Right here, pressing the R1. You see? You can check her and see how she's feeling, you know, about the relationship and her traits of the characters. So you can examine that as well. All right, let's continue. So we're going to stop here for a minute. I'm going to look at those photos. See, there's a balloon there. What they're doing, what these guys are doing, that they're basically, they're playing games with all of them. They're luring them in, and they're giving them a choices to see who's going to survive, see who's going to be the smartest, and, and that's what they're doing. They're, they, I mean, they could kill them if they wanted to, but they're, that would be too easy. They're giving them, a, they're playing a game with them. They're giving them a choice. Whether you're going to save yourself, or you're going to save this person, or who do you prefer?
I already seen this photo, but I don't think if she has seen what it was written on it. Ready for the senior prom, Hannah, Sam, and Mike, Emily. That's Josh photo. Oh, let's keep going downstairs. Door is wide open. Who are you guys? Oh, this is weird. Indeed. Hey. Guys, come on! Oh, I'm done with this! I really don't appreciate the silent treatment here! Samantha. Looking for me. I don't think you'll have much luck by looking, Samantha. You're only going to see what I want you to see. And I have quite a lot to show you. Open your eyes. She's quite beautiful, isn't she? lies ahead. Do you think these were the last happy moments of this creature's life? Why are you watching? Josh! How does it make you feel? What did you do? I'm going to give you ten seconds. Nine. I'm gonna throw a vase. Run, run. Hide under the bed. No, jump, jump, jump. Go. Run, 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 run. You're kidding me, no handle. Pull. That was a close call. Wow. Go. Let's get out of here. Maybe I should examine this first. Nah, the hell with the examining this. Let me just get out of here. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow. But he's got cameras everywhere, so... He knows exactly where I'm going. See, that's the thing. They're playing a game. They know all of our moves, man. Oops. Hide, hide, hide. Oh, fuck. Fuck! <sighs> There he goes. See, I cannot move my controller now. If I move my controller, I'm fucked. Oh boy. 
At least I earned a trophy, so that's a cool thing. Well, here comes my psychiatrist. To plan now, did it. Such careful, brilliant plotting, and yet in a crucial moment you are foiled by your own inadequacies. I told you that everything you do has consequences. You think this mistake won't have repercussions? What you do and what you say causes things to change. Yes. Oh, the good work. We did it for the source of your fear. You've just gone and used it for fear. Your overwhelming fear of isolation. You have turned it against these people who use it desperately want to torment us. Has it been worth it? Yes. Every second. I knew this was going to be happening, somehow, because I am one of them. Now this is the uh, previous rehash of what happened. I still recommend that you guys uh, check my previous walkthrough so you can understand decisions that I made in this walkthrough. And you also have to remember that everyone's walkthrough is going to be different. So. Everyone's gonna make different choices. That's what's so cool about this game. I think she's in the so you can check everyone's YouTube channels and you'll see everyone's uh, decisions gonna be different. <laughs> Matt, what is that? I don't know. <gasps> now this is Matt and his girlfriend, and this is where we stopped the last time I played Psychosis. They have to go to this tower to radio in for help. Let's calm down. Calm. They're only deers. Relax. They're just deer. That's right. Check us out as well. No, 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 Matt. They're gonna hurt us. I'm gonna go slowly. I'm gonna move slowly. Slowly. I'm not gonna hit anybody. I'm gonna be calm here. They're just deers. No reason for me to be feisty. I'm not gonna do anything. Just walk slow. It's okay. Come on. It's okay. See, that was the butterfly effect, and that's the choice I made not to do anything, just to be calm and move forward. All right, let's continue. Hop down, there you go. Now we gotta go to this, now I'm controlling what's her name, Emily. Now we gotta head out to this tower. To radio in and call for help. Okay, let's hurry uh, asses up there. If we do manage to get someone on the radio, we will. then we tell them we need help. But what do we do while we wait? We go back to the lodge and get everyone else. Oh god, not the lodge. We should stay here in case whoever it is needs to get back in touch with us. Let's get that radio working first. I think she's right. Don't go to the lodge, just stay the radio and radio in and wait. Oh, that's gonna be a pain in the ass climbing this shit. Oh, that's freaking bright! No kidding. I can't see, what is that? It's just a security light. Motion sensor, probably. The lightning on this game, it's unbelievable, man. It's so photorealistic. It truly shows off the PS4 power. 
this game. No questions asked. Seriously. All right, let's first look around here. Okay, so we can do the same thing with Emily too. Like if I stop here, you're gonna look at her face and, and see what she's, what her psychological state of mind is. All right, let's climb back. Let's climb back up. I guess you can only do that in certain, certain positions, depending on how they, what they feeling and whatnot, and their face shows up, like if they're afraid or something. Which means you cannot do it all the time, only in certain positions, certain situations. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's him. You shouldn't have left that axe there, you idiot. I don't like this. Not one bit, man. Why is it so windy all of a sudden? We're almost inside. Why so windy? Jesus Christ. You stupid idiot. Because you're climbing up in a freaking tower and it's, it's a snowstorm. That's why. Dumb idiot. God. You see? Like on certain, uh, certain levels of the game, you get to examine them, you know, depending on what's going on. Like right here, I can examine her and, and her state of mind. See? Ooh, nice booty. All right, let's continue. Come on, hurry up, you idiot. You left your axe down there, you dumb schmuck. Yeah. There's a radio. That's a fax machine. So doesn't work. No power. Oh, come on. No power. Got to be a switch or something here. Yeah, genius. No power. That's the first thing you should have been looking for. It's the generator. All right, there's a switch. Hopefully that's a switch. Oh, it's emergency flare. Let's let's take it. Fuck it. We might need that. It's a single for help. I'm gonna keep it. Fuck him. I'm gonna stow it. I'm not gonna use it. Not yet. Let's go find that generator. box uh, let's see what happens whoop voila here we go it's working let's radio in 
Hello, hello, we need help. Help, help, help. Someone says I need help over here. Let's just dial this in. Form. And I think we have radio in. earliest <laughs> oh we screwed now and you left an axe down there you idiot smart move Tower's gonna fall. Oh my god, what is happening? Tower! Oh shit. Shit! <gasps> what to do here should I save Emily or not fuck wow this game's getting better and better man every single time I play it <coughs> Are you shitting me? Let me think. Don't think, you idiot. Just get me out of here. Alright, let me support her. The hell with it. I'm talking, I can't take it! Stop yelling at me and let me work this out, okay? Yeah, you just take all the time you need. Not like I'm going anywhere. 
Can I be sarcastic? Whatever you say, princess. Now, will you please get me off this goddamn tower? Please, 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 Matt, just do something. <sighs> Let me save Emily. I'm coming. Come on, you can do it. How am I gonna save all the females? That's what I'm gonna do. What? I guess I couldn't save her. Holy shit. Wow. What am I gonna do now? You see, that's the cool thing about this game. You think you're gonna make the right choice, but sometimes you make the wrong choice. Next time, I'm not gonna save Emily. I made the wrong choice. Shit. She wasn't up there? I don't know, I didn't see her. She must have come down here. I haven't seen her either. All right, guys, we're gonna continue this on the part number 11. You see, This is the thing about this game, because you, you think you're going to make the right choice, but sometimes you make the wrong choice. That's why you have to replay this game many, many, many times to get the right choice. And, well, next time I replay this level, I'm not going to save Emily. <laughs> I'm going to save myself. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you guys for watching this playthrough, and uh, we'll continue it on number 11.